This is Kendall the Scientist, and today we are going to be making bat bombs. So I actually have this emoji bat bomb kit right here with all these different molds. The one right here, I have some heart eye molds. One where he's laughing so hard he's crying, and then just a regular smiley face. So step one, my mom is going to cut these out and she's going to leave a half of an inch around every uh, around every mold. Okay, so here are all the molds with the faces cut out. Okay, so for step two, it says to separate your citric acid into two parts and set aside for later. So I have these two bowls right here. And then I have my citric acid. So my mom cut a little snip off, and now I'm gonna rip the rest off. Ooh. Okay, and now I'm gonna pour it into the two bowls and make sure that it's even. So step number three says that I have to pour the contents of sodium bicarbonate and cornstarch, blend into a mixing bowl and mix well, breaking down any chunks. So I have my sodium bicarbonate and cornstarch in one bag and a big mixing bowl and a whisk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this open uh oh, this is really hard. Although I think I might have got it. Yep, there we go. And then I'm going to pour it in here. Whoa. That is a lot of sodium bicarbonate and cornstarch. So now, time to smash it up. Yeah! This kind of looks like flour when you're baking a cake. Although, without the eggs and the powder. Step four says that you need to add all your fragrance and incorporate well throughout the powder. So, there are four little bottles in here. It was really confusing for me because... I didn't know which one was the fragrance, but this one is the fragrance. These three are actually the paint. So I'm gonna set them aside. And you know because it actually says lemon ginger fragrance. So how I like to do it is I like to pour a little bit in and then stir and then pour a little bit more in. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it has this like little hole at the top so that way it can come out. I don't really see what's happening to it, but I guess it's starting to smell like lemon and ginger. Oh, yep, I can definitely smell the ginger. Well, that smells good. If you could smell it, then you could definitely smell the lemon and ginger in here. Number five says that you need to mix the entire bottle of yellow color into the fragranced mixture. Blend well until completely incorporated throughout the powder. So I'm gonna do the same exact step as number four, except for I'm gonna be using the yellow mixture. Okay, so I'm gonna pour a little bit in. Whoa, that comes out fast. Ow. 
I don't know if you can see this, but it's turning like a little bit yellow in some spots. So as you can see, this is really pale. It's like a palish yellow. And then me and my mom mixed it for about five minutes. So now I'm gonna smell it. Oh, that smells so good. Number six, Acetadisivia Legmend. I think I need to work on my French. Number six, at this point, you will need to separate the mixture into two parts so it doesn't dry too quickly when you are molding your bath bombs. So, right here I have these two bowls so that way I can do just that. And they might look a little bigger than the other, but trust me, they're the same size. So I have this giant ladle to pour the same amount into each bowl. And this might take a while because you need to make sure that you have the same amount in each. So, so far, this has taken about a minute. And I'm making sure that I'm like shaking it so that way it's the same amount. Okay, last, last two scoops. And... We are all done with that. For number eight, once this is done, take your citric acid parts and pour it into your prepared mix, blending it very well. So I'm gonna take one of my citric acid and then pour it into here. And then I'm gonna mix it in. And it's turning like a little shiny. So that's how you know that it's being mixed in. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to put in one teaspoon of water into this bowl. And if it doesn't feel like sand, then I might put in another one. So here's my first teaspoon. I'm gonna mix it. Ooh, I can see like little clumps starting to form in here. Does this feel like sand? No, it does not. So, time to put in another teaspoon. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Yeah, it's definitely starting to turn more clumpy. And it's starting to turn more yellow too. So now it's time for our molds. You wanna take a little clump and overfill one of the molds slightly. So now I'm trying to not make a mess, but I also want to overfill it. Okay, I think that's good for the top half, not for the bottom half. This is kind of getting my hands a little messy because it's like, it's a powder. So make sure to wash your hands after. So now I have to pack these two molds together and really tightly. And I have to make sure not to twist them. Mm. 
Okay, I think that's good. So now I have to take off the bottom. That's cool. Okay, now I have to be super careful and take off the top. Now, you have your bath bomb. So now you're going to repeat the same steps with your other two. Grab some, put it in the mold. And lightly tap it. Okay, out for the bottom. Oops. So, with this batch and the rest of the batch, which I didn't even use, I could have made like eight or nine bath bombs, but here I just made three. So I made this original smiley face, the heart eye one, and then the crying one. After, you have to let them sit for about 24 hours for them to harden, and then you can paint with the red and black. So please stay tuned for that video. And then, do you see these like edges here? You can smooth them out with the back of your spoon so that way they're not like sharp. Okay, that's good. Don't forget to put a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to my channel, and put in the comments below what you would like me to do for a future video. Bye!